think that what the issue is around now, and I don't suppose to have any idea about the point in time being at some time, but now the, the functionality of relying on the belief that we are, are separate, it, it justifies our shortcomings. That's all we can relate to and identify um, our shortcomings as being, oh, well, it's just because I'm just, it's this, I'm human. And that is self-feeding. So there's, there may be the question of the chicken and the egg, and as much as which came first, you know, the, uh, the mistake or the belief in, in, in being capable of making the mistake, and that's kind of a good point, play of ideas. But I think, for me, that's, that's how it tends to function. You know, getting back to, you know, how this, how this continues to be supported and how it, how it interacts with our thinking. Uh, when things go wrong, when things are less than perfect, uh, we have a rationale, which is, well, what do you expect? Those thoughts are like held on in the mind to justify the experience. This so is, yeah. That and, is. and after a while, you know, you start to get wise to this. It's kind of like, am I going to continue to use these fear-based thoughts yes, that's to, my just, question. to I justify mean, so my experience? But, yeah. but in the, there comes a point where it's like, enough of this, you know, where, where there's a willingness to say, I want to look at my thoughts, mm -hmm. and I want to look closely at them with you, Jesus, I want to really look at, at my thoughts, and I don't want to continue to use, to justify my thoughts. If I'm feeling angry, the, the ego is saying, yes, yes, you're feeling angry, blast it out, project the blame out there on something or someone else or some situation in the world. It'll make you feel better. You'll, you'll get rid of it by giving it away. <laughs> You know, kick the dog, do this, do that, but just get it out, you know. And basically, what the Course is saying is projection doesn't work. That it's like a boomerang. You zap it out there, and it comes around and gets you in the back, and you feel guilty. And so it, after enough times of throwing the boomerang out and getting <laughs> getting whacked in the back, it's like the mind starts to say, Wait, Some, there's, there's a trick here. <laughs> Why do I keep doing this? There there's there's something that's not going right here when I keep trying to project these things. Now, if you get to the metaphysics of this, basically there's there's one law in heaven. Doesn't that make it nice? It's real simple. And the law in heaven is what you extend, you are. So, when God extended Himself, you know, love, then what you extend, you are. He, His Son, has the same thing. That when you extend love, you are love. So Jesus says, when you come down into the dream world, it's just a misapplication or a distortion of this one law that's in heaven. And, and what it comes down to when it comes through the ego lens, what you extend you are in heaven, comes ego down lens. the lens, and it's yeah, like you're looking through a lens, yeah, that what you project you will believe. So if I project a world out there, I try to get rid of this world out of my mind. <laughs> I try to get rid of this duality and this split in my mind, and I project it. As soon as I project it, then I believe it. It sure seems believable, doesn't it? Doesn't this body seem real? You know, and and the whole point is you have to question the beliefs and the thoughts because you have to start to see that they're attack thoughts, that they're unreal. As soon as you can start to see they're unreal, then you don't invest in it. They're false. You pull your mind away from them. But as long as you believe they're real, it's like, oh my gosh, this is horrifying. Project it out. Then I see, I continue to see events that seem to be like I'm a victim, like something's happening to me. There's so many backward thoughts that my words. Like I said, it feels like when wow. I start looking, it feels like a lot of them are backwards. Okay, <laughs> so say you get, you get, you know, you're, you're tired of being angry and you're hurt and different things happen, and you just kind of become a hermit, okay? Then you're not seeing any projections around you. You think you're hiding from them, you know? But then you get to a point where you feel lonely. What is that? Backward thoughts. In other words, you can remove your body from society. You think you're removing, you think you're removing yourself from the things that are bothering you. Because you think that's where the cause is. Yeah. But where's the cause? The cause is inside. Right. And, and you, you don't remove yourself from, yeah. from your so body. Then, then, so then you get back in there and you 
what's pulling you back to that? What is it, the evil? The action. Well, in a sense, the, the Holy Spirit, I mean, people will say, what's the difference like with Mother Teresa going around and seeming to reach out to everybody versus, let's say, a monk or one of these mystics that goes off to the mountains? Myself, yeah. In a sense, Jesus is saying, as long as you're training your mind and you're trying to detach from these thoughts, I mean, the form is irrelevant. We all have very high functions. We're called to be teachers of God. I mean, literally, he's training us. To all of us. All of us. Yeah. And we all have a lofty function. And the more we really give our minds to that function, the more we really start to, to live it and practice it and everything, there comes such a joy that it makes you forget about the candy bars, the jelly bars, and the, the whatevers, you know. It's like before, it was inconceivable to be without the hot spot Sunday. You know, it's kind of like, I like my hot spot Sunday, Jesus. But what happens is, more and more, you re when you get into this um, function and purpose, that it's just like... That there comes an intrinsic joy it's like a, a well that bubbles up from within the mind from the Holy Spirit so you don't have that emptiness so that you you're trying to fill all right. the time with all these other things so the that other don't stuff, really work right now you can take these things and instead of trying to wrestle with them they're, they're like little flakes of dandruff you, you know you kind of blow them off, you know. <laughs> That's the way to let go of things, to blow them away like that, like those little pieces of specks of dust, instead of like they're giant um, leeches, <laughs> or, you know, cleaning, clinging on, you know. I suppose the more you validate them or focus on them, the, the, the bigger they become. Yeah. Mm -hmm.